set up our free 5G router and test the Wi-Fi and the wired connection. Also, we will show you the setup. There's also an app that you can download to control your hub. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Look what we've got here, a broadband hub, no wires required. I thought I'd try this out. It's £20 a month and they're promising very high speeds and it actually works via 5G using the same SIM card that you would put in your phone. So it's effectively like, like having another, another SIM or another phone, but it provides broadband throughout the whole house and look at the size of the box that has come. So let's check it out. It's a two week trial. Then we get three months rent for free. Uh, after that, it's £20 a month. And, you know, inflation will increase that price over time. So let's unbox, see what's in there. But it seems like quite a straightforward setup. And I'm just going to put it on a windowsill somewhere in my house. And I will allocate this unit to a certain part of my family. And I've got the normal wired broadband unit that is to everyone else. And hopefully we'll get better speeds and everyone will be able to enjoy the internet more. These days we all tend to stream televisions by the internet we've got multiple PCs multiple phones so the broadband router that I've got is very it is very we're very dependent on it and if anything goes wrong um, then there's a lot of bickering in this house but we now have a backup and I think for 20 pound a month it's worth it but we'll soon find out because if, if I'm not happy with it in the next four or five days I'll send it all back so let's see what's in the box We've got the SIM card that comes and there is an app that we're going to download as well so you can fully control it as well. As you can see, 5G home broadband hub. So it's actually bigger than I was expecting, which I am glad about. Because I, if it's, I just feel like if it's big, especially with modern technology, if it's big, there must be, you know, it must be like a nice big antenna in there. Well, you're going to plug and go and then test, it, test some items. Okay. Understanding your hub. So, there you are. Light blue is good. What is WPS? WPS is the easy way to connect to your hub. No Wi-Fi name, no password. Just press and hold the WPS button for three seconds. Can't find it? Check the diagram on the left. All right, nice little diagram. I'm sure you can't miss it. It's gonna be here, isn't it? And look at the, the back, all the ports on the back. So you can connect an ethernet cable to it by the looks of it which is, is going to be good. There you are. It is a substantial box. I wouldn't say it's heavy, but you're definitely going to know where it is in the house. Looks like it's got two LAN ports. You can zoom in on that a bit better. Two LAN ports. Internal, external. Not sure what that works. Is there another antenna that goes there? No, that wouldn't make sense, would it? But we've got this tab here. Put it back on for now. It does say antenna. So does that mean the antenna is extendable? You know, for your Wi-Fi? There's no other antenna in the box. Power supply on and off, USB. Yeah, so I would say that definitely is the antenna. There is a switch there, internal, exter external. So I think there could be an external antenna for this. Leave it on internal for now. That's what they look like. I think that is external antenna connections. Yeah, and with, a, with some research, look, there it is there, look. That's really fascinating for me as a ham operator. As you can see, I'm a ham operator. With lots of uh, gadgets in this house because I'm effectively adding another radio device using probably you know 5G, whatever the frequency is for 5G. Uh, external antenna here, look. That's what the antennas look like. Excellent. But anyway, they are recommending you put this by a window. But it's nice to know that, you know, 
if I have a problem with my antenna. And interestingly, the ICOM 905 uh, is transmitting with antennas like this. So and that's a very expensive item, and we got this for free. Anyway, let's see where we, where we put the SIM card. There's our SIM. Quite a big SIM. Which goes, if we flip it over here, just here. Okay, pull this rubber off and it looks like the SIM goes in that way around with the flat edge there. And it's this way around. So let's just push that. We should get a little click. If we don't get the click, it's the wrong way around. That's what I would say. It's fine. No click at the moment. Let's try the other way around. Yeah, so the other way around, and it clicked. There you go. This way around. It's not, we've got the flat bit there, basically. And just push it in. It's quite a, quite a loud click. Like so, we do have Ethernet cable going to our PCs. We, we can, we'll test it wireless and with. Power supply in. Let's just plug it in and see see how it starts to flash. Okay, plugged in. Internal antenna. We've even got a USB there. But anyway, turn it on. You can see that light up and the Ethernet, two Ethernet ports. And so within a minute or so, we should be able to connect to that on my phone. Have a look what signals we're getting, and then we'll do some speed tests. We've got it flashing green at the top there. Flashing green. Put, I did push the button. And these lights are appearing. That's the signal we're getting there. 3B895. I've got these other items, but this is the one. And then we'll put the password in that's located on the back of the router. Run a quick speed test on my wireless connection without the hub, just using my existing system, and that's the result. My hub is showing all this at the moment, so it looks very good. We've connected to the hub. Let's do another speed test again. Just click test again. I've just Googled speed test. See what comes up. Okay, on first test, not great. Let's try it in the window. Okay, well that's made a big difference. Putting it by the window. Now I'm getting the very fast message. Let's switch back. Okay, we switch back. This is the both wireless. So I would say that the the five G was is now faster. Okay, now let's try wired connection as well. You let this finish. Yeah, so it's it's faster with the five G on that test, and that's because I've got it by the window. Made it, and I could actually probably raise it up a bit as well. And that's you know that's. That's double glazing units there, so I'm quite pleased with that. And I think I could actually set something up to have this box up in my loft, you know, with configuration. I think I actually could. Right, we've now got a wired connection to the PC. See the Ethernet cable there? To my PC as well. It says connected. Let's try the speed. Test again. Wow. Look at the difference. That's crazy fast. And a lot of this stuff that I use for ham radio. Well, I'm blown away by that speed. Let's just plug the cable into my old router to see what the wired speed is on my old router. Okay, we're on my older router. Test. 
it's still a lot faster than it than the you know than the wireless connection was originally but look you're talking 70 odd averaging now let's put the ethernet back on for my new 5g router that was the result and look it's it's the speed is incredible i think the reason is because this whole system is quite new so i'm lucky i'm getting the first time sort of user type speeds they're going to slow down over time but that is fantastic you know I am very, very pleased with that result. The wi the wireless result wasn't amazing, but it was okay. It was good. But in summary, I think it's worth it. And I could actually um, stop using my other one and save, I think that's £25, and just have this. It would work fine. I'm pretty sure there'd be a phone number that you could have as well, if you want. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I am a ham radio operator. Modern hams, we're using the internet all the time to interact. Most of our radios have an interaction with, you know, using the internet. Bye for now, all the best. There's also an app that you can download to control your hub. This is the notifications that you get to let you know the kind of signals and connections you've got. And it's a nice looking box. Bye, thanks for watching.